GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we will be trying not to die again by our own stupidity. Um, well, I didn't actually die, but you know, we'll be trying not to again die. Not die. I should... whatever. You know what I mean. We're going to try not to die. Okay, um... Okay, wind. Wow. Just let that wind blast you in the face for a minute there. Well, you know, get my crap together. Uh, so we manufactured some biofuel over the night, which is good. And we slept in the tent, of course. We still, this is still running, but it's got, we've got like a ton, a ton of O2 now. Let's, let's take a little bit of that. We've got too much purified water on us. Yeah, we're carrying too much stuff right now. So I think that's going to be the water. Let's see. Eh. That was 60 of it anyway. It's one each. Okay. Okay, so those are uh, one and a half each, so those are, yeah, I mean, there's 50 right there, right? Okay, so, uh, but where where is all of my weight coming from? Maybe? Oh, you know what? The motorbike, there's 100. There's 100. Here, let's get rid of that. Let's just put that there for now. And then the detector is 93.8, so there's our, like, why, why? Okay, so I'm going to try not hitting the uh, tilde key. I, I'm using a different keyboard, which is a little bit different key spacing, so I tend to be hitting the wrong keys here quite a bit. So you'll have to bear with me if I hit my keys incorrectly. Um, that's not surprising. So it wanted me to craft the detector. We did that. I don't have it on me, so is it in here? No. Oh, it's on me. Yes, it is on me. It's on my bar. Okay, so let's go put that on. Did we get the rest of it crafted? Did I not craft the rest of it? You know what? I did. No, I... Yeah, because I only need the cockpit. I only need the cockpit, right? Okay, so we're still connected to it. Let's get the po cockpit. Blah, cockpit. It's a tongue twister for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, what else are we going to need? We need the... I mean, everything else is on. Oh, you know what? I got to rebuild the, I got to rebuild the propulsion ones on the front there, right? Because I had to take them off. So let's do that. Okay. So that's what I need to build still. Okay. Let's do that. Get those going. Uh, well, that's not from here. No, we can do that up here. So it should have enough juice. Um, let's take a look here. We'll take a look at the power that it's putting out from the solar. Eh, not bad. It'll be enough to power it for a bit. We got we got battery in there now. So that's good. Okay. So we should be able to turn that on and jump into here. And we need... I mean, we could... If we had the points, we could make a whole bunch of stuff, right? But for right now, we'll make the two units. And then... See, we can make the harvest module. Does that mean we can make... Yeah, we can make the rest of it, too. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to make that. We're going to make... Oh, can it not make the... Yes, it can. We don't know it. Right. 
level five. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We need we need that, and then we'll make the harvest module. This will get us some XP. At least what? At least the the one ore and wood module will allow us to pick up a little bit of wood before it fills up. <laughs> Jeez, it's gonna be tiny. 125 SU until we get those extensions. But this will allow us to actually get XP really quick. Need to eat something. Constantly needing to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Survival constructor can only use items from the inventory. I know. It tells you that every time you go in to your inventory, it seems. Or not inventory, but your uh, survival constructor. These things don't give you as much food anymore. They're like half as much as the previous alpha. So keep that in mind. You gotta, But you get bigger stacks. You get bigger stacks. So you can stack. Uh, I'm not sure what the max stack is for the energy bars yet. I guess we'll, we'll try and find that out. Um, it's probably 50 or something, right? I was probably really close to it. So those are done. Let's grab those. Grab that. That's done. Did we already make it? Darn. Maybe I'd already made it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Just gapping. I'm like, what the hell? How could it be so fast? But if I get, I mean, you know, it's the only thing I need to make. Well, we're gonna cook out here. So let's let's just uh, let's drone it up. We'll drone it up. And we'll get to our second bar. Um, let's put in the propulsion ground propellers. Uh, how do we want to do this? We want to do... I really want to move that core back, actually. And then put... Um, or... Uh, we put both these up at the front. And one here. Yeah, because then we can knock that out. I'm just thinking where I can put the ammo box and stuff in the future here. So there we go. We got that'll that'll be good. We can pop this out. We're gonna need to do that pretty quick. Can I make the um here let's take a look. I'm just gonna look at the base, hit P, go into devices, small constructor. Yeah, I can make the ammo box. Looks to make that right now too. Means did I? I can make the Gatling guns. You know what? Let's make two of those. We've got the resources. Let's do it. We can make uh, probably you know, we could probably make 1,500 bullets and uh, get it all loaded in, even with just the 125 SU. So we'll do that. Okay, well, it's loading. We'll grab that. Um, yeah, so that means I want to pop that one off. So let's use our survival tool. We're just going to salvage. Okay, and then we'll get our, oh, uh, which one was which? Now i got to take a look. Can't remember. That's the ammo. Okay, that's what we want. I'm going to stick that there. And then once we can build the, the container controllers, or not the container controllers, but the containers, the extensions, I can slip those in. We'll be able to hit do do that really quick here. Um, will I be able to sneak into? Yeah, because I can reach up from underneath once I get this thing hovering. I should be able to with the drone anyway. Okay, so we can put this on. Now this is going to be a full a full cockpit, not just a not just a open one. This is going to be a closed one. 
I want a really small one. So one of these, it's legacy. I'm not sure if it can be upgraded. I don't think so. This one can. You know what? Let's go with this. This is kind of my go-to now for for the first hover vessel cockpit because it, it can be upgraded. So now do I want that back more? And then have no. You know what? I'll have the uh, I'll, I'll put two thrusters to either side of the light once I do get the thrusters going yeah okay okay so here we go and we got lots of space out back here I think I'm gonna knock some of this crap off here so let's do that let's um, go into salvage we're just gonna get rid of some of this unnecessary stuff here because I do want to make use of the space so Ooh, that was just a big weighted block of nothingness. Well, it wasn't weighted. It was, it was actually weighed nothing, right? The carbon composite. Yeah, they weigh nothing. But it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's still unnecessary. It's taking up unnecessary space. The steel block, it can go. You know what? I think I'm just gonna strip all the the old metal bits from the carriage underneath here because I don't need it and I need the space. So. There's no structural integrity on vehicles so you can like have pieces floating here and there. It's not a big deal. Don't worry, I'm not going to lose parts. Okay. I know it's really gutted, but um, keep that on there just as some protection to the core for now. Okay. Um, well, we still we need an RCS. Did I build an RCS? I don't think I did. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure I took that as a... We make one, yes. Did I make one? I don't think so. No. Okay, so let's make one. And you know what? We're gonna make a thruster too. Let's make an RCS. I'm gonna make a thruster out the back too. I know we're not putting much into this. It's going to look like just a skeleton driving along here, but you know what? That's fine. We'll flesh it out when we level up. Hopefully it doesn't get shot up. What's that? that is base. Okay. We're about to suffocate, so I guess I should take some air. Okay, how's that doing? It be doing quite well. So let's grab some of this stuff too. We can put this in our bar. Okay. That RCS. I want the RCS as centered as possible down low. Let's do that. That'll help with steering and pitch, and it'll it'll help. It just helps with repositioning everything: your 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 pitch, your yaw, your roll. Um, it's it can help a lot. <laughs> the only problem is it can make it really twitchy if you don't need much but on hover vehicles you do you need them big time other vehicles not as much but hover vehicles you need a lot so let's put uh, so this is the the ore and wood now I could put the thruster yeah okay so so let's do that we'll grab the thruster 
and the thruster. And we'll put the thruster there. So we'll do. Nope. Change that to that. And yeah, that's the right way, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, we'll put the thruster in there. Yeah, I got my keyboard working. <laughs> uh, okay. And then. I think we'll just put in the the box right here on top. Of it. I know it's way out at the back, but whatever. We got some guns. I don't want them too far forward. Let's let's put them there. One there. The other one there. Okay. And then we can put the harvest module right on the front here, right there. There we go. So that should give us, with the RCS, we should be able to use the harvest module to kill creatures with too. Uh, it's really hard without it, at least I find, without the RCS. Uh, okay, that gives us a skeleton HV with some firepower and some some uh, wood collection that we can also use to kill creatures with. And I'm going to show you that really quick here, so let's do that. Um, we got to make ammo. I didn't make ammo. Darn it. Okay, so it doesn't take that long. We'll make... And one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oops. Let's get a stock of what we got here. Make sure that this is not going to run out. Let's put at least another one on there. Um, got all this. Let's grab that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so good enough for now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put uh, put some more in. We'll be back pretty quick. It's just we gotta go scouting. So I got enough food on me. I got enough oxygen. You know what? I could make an oxygen bottle. I could make an oxygen bottle. It's at 900. Um, yeah, I took that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So I think even though that we are safe in the cockpit, I, I still want to take this with me. And the reasoning being is, you know, if I do get blown up or something or run out of gas and I'm way out in the middle of nowhere and I don't have a way of making another one, I could really screw myself. So, oh, come on, I'm stuck. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Um, I guess we can put that on. Where should I put that, though? Should I put that? I'm gonna lose connection to this too, so we gotta to put this on. Oh, good, that's done. Okay, so you know what? Let's um. Well, if I disconnect, that'll go back in. Let's just put that on. Let's put that on. And oh, actually, here, let's put this down really quick. Six. We just flip to six. Put that down. There, that we we don't die while we do this. Then I gotta remember to pick that up, or I'll be an idiot twice. I've been an idiot way more than twice. Trust me. It's just uh, you know, during this series so far. Um, do we want to put that? Yeah, we want to put that. Uh, you know, we can put that just right up against the back. I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. We can just put that right here. Okay. 
Okay. And then let's go into here. We can put the here. Let's just group this really quick. And then we've got the ammo. Ammo. Just dump that in there. And it'll only take 125.50, right? Because of the uh, weight. That's right. That's fine. But oh, actually, I'm. I won't put it on me. But I, I'll put it on me. I won't put it in my bar because I'm going to disconnect from that bar. So let's grab this. We'll get, I'm getting stuck on that. That's funny. Go like this. We'll fire this up. Get it. Get it cooled off in here. That way we don't cook. And there we are. We're comfortable. We can put some more fuel in here. Put the bulk of it in. I'll just save a couple. Okay. That'll give us a lot. Wow. Okay. And then we want to put in our... Ant uh, we got our, yeah, what we want to do now is we want to switch to our guns and load those. Then we can go back into our ammo box and fill up the rest of what we had with us. So now we almost have another, we have 900 left. So another one and a half loads of, of ammo, that's good. Okay. Let's, oh, we, we didn't put the, um, we didn't put the thingamajig on, the detector. <sighs> okay, so I think I want to put that, oh, so far back. You know what, let's just put it there for now. It's a really crappy spot, though. Put it there. You know what, let's do that, a beanie. Give it a beanie. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll be building a base. Okay, so we finished off that part of the Robson Protocol. We're on to the next part to find a location for our base. Well, that's that's a good idea. So we need to find a, a base location so that we can throw a base starter now. Yeah, we're going to lose connection. That's fine. Okay, so I know we've got a funky looking vehicle, but... But right now, we can actually tip up and down pretty decently because of that RCA on it. Or RCS on it, I should say. RCA. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? We can actually put some oxygen in here now, right? Because I put that uh, in here. So let's do this. There we go. We'll just top up what we have with what we got on us. That way, while we're in the cockpit at least we won't use our suit oxygen okay there we go so now we're we're in an environmentally controlled cockpit with oxygen i could technically take my helmet off right see and and i'm fine but it doesn't matter anymore um if you can just leave your helmet on forever because it all goes by if the O2 symbol isn't there, it consumes suit. And if you don't have your helmet on when the O2 symbol isn't there, then you'll suffocate because it doesn't consume suit. <laughs> That's the thing. Your your helmet makes it so you don't consume your suit oxygen. Well, okay. Um, that's fine and dandy. You don't automatically if the symbol is there, if you're in the environment of an oxygenated planet or or a room or or something cockpit, uh, it stops your suit stops using that O2. Okay, I, I, we're we're I guess let's let's take a look at the map. Quit yapping. Hmm. I like the idea of islands. It's kind of on the other side of. Let's take a look. See where? Yeah. See the. See the daylight there. The daylight completely. Doesn't even. 
doesn't ever get dark at the North Pole. It, it never gets dark, I guess, this time of year. <laughs> um, yeah, look at that. So if we build north, we're going to have the best solar power. Yeah, south is completely in darkness. So, so south doesn't have as much daylight. See, so you can see, you can see the daylight ring here on the very, or the daylight, the amount of daylight on the very top ring. It's from here all the way around to there. And then on this one, it's almost not even there. Not even at all. So big difference, big difference. And that's where you get your, your time if you go up pretty high north you get you get a lot of daylight because of that okay there's uh there's our solar panel uh why you need to build north lesson <laughs> it's just well let's go ping let's go ping crazy and see what we've got we've got the talent over there and we've got Polaris over here with resources so let's go check this out we've got guns now we've got guns right so let's check these resources oh see there's a mini gun drone let's take them on let's take them on let's do it let's do it let's do it with our fragile little skeleton ship okay so uh let's here ping again so that we have him in our uh heads up a little longer and then i think Whoa. Okay, is he coming at us? Is he coming at us? You coming at me, bro? No. It's hard to see with the rest of the um <laughs> with the rest of everything else. Oh, is he was he coming? We got him. Yeah, he was coming at us. Okay, so uh, we got the light on the front still, right? Yeah, sweet. Uh, it's dark here. Well, great. Um, not much I can do about that. We don't have, well, I don't think, at least I don't think we have night vision. No, no. Okay, we'll just loot this guy. Is there any predators around that want to kill me? No. There's a copper node there. Nice. Okay, so let's loot this guy. Yeah. It's kind of tasty. The uh, fuel cells are are really needed right now, considering we have no promethium at all. And that should be another thing that we're looking for. So, on the map. I think the Polaris. The Polaris usually have promethium in their area. So let's check to see what their resources are. If we get the Prometheum, I can make charges. Oh, this will help with XP right now too. We'll discover all this stuff. Nice. So that was Prometheum we just discovered right there. Excellent. Okay. And then, so we'll see what this is. Silicone. Okay. We got over here again. We've got resources oh with um with radiated zone right beside them here aha so this is handy too so even though that there might not be any um pois in there or deposits although there's a deposit that, that might be promethium also uh, i don't really want to dig in their zone in their area right now because I'm only 
neutral to them, so it'll my my reputation will drop with them if I do, and and I'm really not interested in dropping rep with them right now. Um, I want to build my rep. So I'm coming into the radiated fog here. This is just so I can show you in the radiated zone. This is where we potentially are going to find some cobalt rocks too, which will allow us to build uh, some of the more advanced stuff that we need, like right off the bat, the, um, the T2 drill. I need some cobalt for... Is that cobalt right there? No. Um, just trying to show you guys some cobalt here. I probably passed some. You guys are like, you passed some, you passed some. Yeah, it's not, not so... Oh. Now we can either shoot this guy or try killing him with the... Backwards, not as fast as forward because I don't have a thruster. I'm just. Ugh. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we could kill this guy with the. actually pretty low already I, there we go I think I was just going too low I think I was aiming too low is what I was doing uh, should we check his bits it's really nasty out here can't really do much for long with the equipment that I have on okay so I will try and pop some rocks though if we can find them I mean it used to be you used to be able to find oh see there's there's some promethium I mean that's we kind of need that right now too right so okay let's uh we can endure a little bit of radiation I think it's not too cold so there we go there we go I'm not going to bother with getting anything else besides cobalt and promethium. I don't need, uh, oh, is that two of them to get? Yeah, I think, oh no, that's silicone. Okay, too bad. Too bad. Well, you know what? I'm going to get it. Turn my light on. Come back. Come back. Oh, see, I already got a rad built up. Here I am, here I am mining silicone when I said I wasn't gonna. Really? I mean... Come on now, where's all the cobalt? I know they can be kind of hard to spot sometimes, but still. Oh, there we go. There's one. Okay. I just wanted to get a little bit, just so I can make um, a couple of basic things. The, the drill and um, a, a hangar door, believe it or not, requires it, so... I'd like to get enough to smelt like 10 ingots or something. That should be enough to do. What did I what did I get on me here? I got five. So that's enough for 10 ingots. Uh you know it's probably it's probably enough. It's probably enough. This is taking forever and I'm not getting anywhere. Okay. So what we can do, here let's just take a Kinda, well, slow but slow but quick 
jaunt through the uh, <laughs> radiation zone. Just, uh, just kind of hoping for a little bit more than that. Probably search off camera. Yeah, I'll search off camera. Okay. Let's ping. We've got the Prometheum there. We've got silicone. We've got another resource over here. We've got a couple of things that are not discovered of theirs. So let's go check that out. We'll get the XP for that at least. And offices. Oh. Yeah, I wonder if uh, there's vendors in there. We'll have to go find out once we get friendly with these guys. Oh, and that sounded like a golem. Yes, it was. Okay, so let's switch to the grinder and we will grind him. Level five, all right. There we go, that's how you do it. The easy cheesy lemon squeezy way. And what do we get? Oh yeah, that's some epic, epic loot on him. That is pretty juicy stuff at low level. Okay, so that was fantastic. We leveled up. Oh, oh whoa, 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 buddy. What's going on? Hey! You uh, patrol in the area, eh? That's kind of cool. Or is he just kind of lost, meandering around with his thumb up his arse? Could be both. Okay, uh, that was good. That was good. Level 5. We're in the dark, though. I, I really hate recording in the dark. Okay, well... You know, we're getting close to the end of this episode anyway, and we didn't really find anything. <laughs> we got the uh, HV going. Uh, we did find the player. So, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do right here, let's do this. Can we do this here? I'm not sure if we can do this here. You know, we got to do this. You know where we got to do this? We got to do this back here. So let's whip over here really quick. Let's head to the southeast really quick here and we can uh, discover yeah I'm not gonna stop and kill everything yet I just want to do uh, a quick um... okay so let's go into our PDA we're gonna go into the Polaris and we're going to do wildlife cam. Let's go to few ore deposits. And it should, yeah, see, it usually goes to the very closest one. So we'll do that, and then it points us back to the next. Whoa, that's, that's not that bad. That's not ba that bad. Let's go there. You need to have a gun of some sort to do this because if there's a drone protecting the deposit you you probably want to take out the drone instead of just sniping the uh, waypoint <laughs> so to speak by zipping in and zipping out although I mean there's nothing wrong with doing that there's a drone right there so why didn't I see that earlier let's deal with him he's gonna be coming at us here Maybe. There we go. Secret is try and get him in the nose there and you do more damage. Oh, that's some delicious stuff. Oscillator. Love me them the oscillating. Turs. Okay. Silicone, we'll do the silicone really quick here. So you can see it actually, um, it points you to the next one that it wants you to go at, that it, that it needs to be updated for now. Way better than last alpha. Last alpha was, I mean, it was broken. You could just 
go back back and forth across the same the same one multiple times. Okay. There we go. We completed that one. Yay! Yay! We can switch back at any time to the tutorial and because I haven't even started that yet and then just activate that. So there's that. We um, we should be a lot more friendly with the Polaris now. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, and then what we can do is how much time? Oh, it's getting this this might be a little bit longer episode, but I, I say we do it. Let's head back over here. We'll head to the southeast and get to those wreckages and we're gonna activate the next um quest for the Polaris and that should make us friendly with them and the reason we want to get friendly right off of that is I think we need to become like uh, arms dealers you know and maybe find their trading station and build a uh, oh there's a golem that's fine I'm going the right way, aren't I? No, I'm going totally the opposite way. That's why I'm like, what the heck? Well, we've got, uh, we're revealing more of the map. That's good. Um, and this is a fair, oh. yeah, that was kind of pathetic. Um, that's okay. We're revealing more of the map. Need to go. West. I don't know why I thought southeast. I was just looking upside down, I guess. So, the great thing about the I know it's dark too. Oh God, I hate recording in the dark. We're getting close. Yep, just across the water. So let's try scooting across the water on this instead of going around. Just point the nose up to keep it out of the water. It should be fine. Don't stop. Okay. So here we are with all the wreckage. crash site. This is a good spot to do this because uh, it makes you come back here anyway, I believe. So, what we're going to do is we're going to activate the next Polaris one. The Privacy Matters. Shut down some of their drones. And let's go. So I think they'll just spawn around us. So let's switch to guns. And... Oh, there, there. I see them spawn in. They spawn in over there. Let's deal with them. Nice. And two behind me. Sneaky. Excellent. And this last straggler. Very good. Okay, let's go loot these. And we should be we should be really close to friendly, if not friendly, with the Polaris now. Take a look at that in a second here. Oh, lovely. Good stuff. I don't have a space. Oh, man. Nice, nice. The uh, Those coils. We need those coils. We need a couple of them, like, right, aw right away just to uh, upgrade our base when we build our base. Take a look at our faction in a second here. I just want to get these looted.
Delicious. All oh, that fuel. Okay. So let's take a look at our faction standing. Almost so close. So close. And those are repeatable. Um, so yeah, if we if we go in and look at the ones, so this one can be done again in 59 minutes. This one in 55 minutes. We can also go back to Polaris Turf, their controlled area, anything in their area that's inside of this colored zone. If we kill stuff in there, so it'll tell us what we need here. Uh, Polaris. Uh, da -da 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 -da, attacking a predator plus 0.1 per damage point dealt. Okay. So we can kill predators. We don't want to destroy blocks or devices. Open in a container. Instantly drop you to neutral. Spawn a vessel minus 100. None if honored or better. Uh, stay in player's territory with any vehicle. Uh, oh, so I'm every time we go in there when we're neutral, every five real minutes we lose 25 points until we become friendly. Yeah. And if you mine, minus 30, none if rep is friendly. Okay. Okay, so good to know. Well, I'm going to call the episode here. We uh, were just super close to being friendly with Polaris, and I think we need to find their um, trading center. I, I, I want to make a base close, as close to their training center on the northern hemisphere as I possibly can. Oh, look at that. There's a island in the middle of this lake where is this so too bad or pretty close to an island anyway nice and flat too wouldn't have to do any digging yeah it's still viable that's viable as a base spot let me tell you okay guys well i'm gonna call it here uh next episode i will find a spot for the base and we'll get that base started so until then you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.